Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be doing some hand-painted waves. You guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, I love wavy lines. <laughs> this Tumblr design is inspired by Desert Galaxy Designs. She makes these incredible, amazing, beautiful rhinestone tumblers. And I saw a few of her posts and I was like, I gotta do something like that. But I wasn't quite ready to take on the rhinestone version. So we're gonna make an epoxy and glitter version inspired by her designs. I will link her down below in the description box if you'd like to follow her on Instagram. She is super talented and has a bunch of amazing ideas. If you enjoy this tutorial, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and of course let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll have a full supply list of everything I'm using in the video down in the description box, along with links to follow me on social media, join my Facebook group, and if you'd like more content from me, you can join my exclusive mentorship group made by Manny and Mal, Elite. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's go. We're going to be using a True32 tumbler from the Tipsy Magnolia. I've already removed the bottom from my tumbler. I've gone over this in previous videos, so I'm not gonna do that in this video, but what I use is a small flathead screwdriver and a hammer, and essentially you just shove that screwdriver in the side of the little cap of the bottom, and then hammer it in, and then you just pop that bottom off. It's super easy. So once I've got that done, I'm going to go right into sketching out my wavy line pattern. This is a pre-prepped tumbler, so we don't need to do anything to it. We can just go right into our design work. So with just a regular pencil, I'm going to draw my wavy lines diagonally on my tumbler. Now, if you do this and you don't like how it looks, you can either erase it using the eraser on your pencil, or you can just take some rubbing alcohol and that pencil will come right off. I had to do this probably like three or four times before I actually liked how it looked. So don't worry if you mess up, you can take it right off and try again. Now, one thing I tried to pay attention to when creating my wavy line pattern was making sure that it took up a lot of space on the tumbler. So I wanted there to be a point like kind of at the front of the cup where the top of the start of one line and the bottom of that same line like met up on the same side of the tumbler if that makes sense so i'm drawing these really big so that they essentially go all the way around the cup and you can make as many of these as you want you can draw one line two three do however many you'd like just keep in mind like what your color pattern or color scheme is going to be and then you can decide how many wavy lines you want Once you've got all of your lines painted or drawn on, I guess, now we're going to paint them. So for the color palette, I'm going for really bright, happy colors. We're gonna use yellow as our main color, and then we're gonna use some pinks and some oranges to really just brighten everything up and make this a really happy, sunshiny, good mood tumbler. So I'm using a sunshine pop of color paint here, and I'm just going to carefully brush it on following those wavy lines as my guide. So like I said, this yellow is gonna be our main color. So it's gonna go on the outside of those wavy line sections. And I'm using a kind of like a stiffer brush here. I'm not using one of those fluffy like makeup brushes to paint these lines. I really wanted that harsh corner of the paintbrush to help me get really clean and crisp lines.
I'm going to let that yellow paint dry for about 15 to 20 minutes before I go in with my next color. The next color I'm going to use is also from Pop of Color Paints and the name of it is Guava Pink. Now, of course, if you want to use acrylic paint, you can, you can use chalk paint, you can use whatever base coat or paint you like. Um, I used a bunch of different ones, some acrylic, some of this Pop of Color paint. My main focus was, of course, just finding the colors that match the vibe I was going for. So taking that guava pink paint, I'm going to go on my first stripe here, my first wavy line. And again, I'm using a brush that has kind of like a harsh corner on it. And I'm carefully and so slowly going along those lines that I sketched out earlier. Now you don't have to follow those lines perfectly. They're really just a guide for you to get everything in place, but you don't have to trace over them exactly. And I honestly didn't want to because my sketching was not as good. I was able to get more of a fluid kind of smooth wavy line with my paintbrush rather than my pencil. So I just used those lines that I sketched out as a guide for the general shape of my lines. The next color we're going to use for our next wavy line is fuchsia. This is the Delta Creative Ceram Coat acrylic paint. It's my absolute favorite. I mean, seriously, like look at the pigment and the coverage on that paint. Like, hello, insane. So, so high quality. So I'm going to put this hot pink stripe on the opposite side of my yellow. So our hot pink and our peachy color are going to be the outsides. Of course, you can set your stripes up or your colors up however you want. You can do whatever color pattern you want. Just have fun with this design. These are so much fun to make and do. I can't wait to make another one in another color palette. And just really have fun picking your color palette. I get asked a lot how I pick colors and how I make sure things go together. And honestly, a lot of the time I just kind of go for it and see what happens. So don't stress out too much about picking the colors that you're going to put together. Just try it and see what happens. And if you don't like it, worst case scenario is that you have to take it off and try it again. So just try it. Pick some colors that you like, put them together and see what happens. The next color we're going to use is Pink Cashmere from Pop of Color Paint. And I'm going to take that again and just do the exact same thing. I'm trying my best to paint really smooth, clean, even lines and just following those lines that I've already created. One thing I am doing is going back and forth between like ends of the tumbler. So I did that peach color first, then I went to the opposite side and did the hot pink. And now I'm back to the other side doing this pink cashmere. And I'm doing that because I want to allow time for the colors that are next to the color I'm putting down. I wanna let those dry just a touch before I go in and add more paint to those sides, just in case anything overlaps. I don't want things to get muddy or too mixed up. So I'm just kind of alternating sides. But other than that, we're just going to continue painting our colors following this wavy line pattern. And then we will move on to our next step. After I had all of my wavy lines painted, I let the cup sit and dry for probably an hour to two hours. And then I went in with a second coat on 
everything. I really, really wanted these colors to pop, so I did two coats on all of my waves and this big yellow portion, especially on the areas with the pop of color paint. I feel like the Delta Ceram coat paint covered much better, but with two coats, the pop of color paint was super vibrant and the colors, I feel like, go really well together and just make me super happy. <laughs> so once I was done with all of my second coats of paint, I let this sit and dry overnight to make sure everything was totally and completely dry. And then I was ready to move on to my next step. Before we add our first coat of epoxy to this tumbler, I want to take care of the glitter booty. Now we're going to do a super simple glitter booty on this tumbler. We're just going to do one glitter color. I'm going to use Smiley Face from Olive's Glitter Outlet, which you can get on the Peachy Olive Glitters website. This is the perfect like sunshine, literally smiley face yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to use UV resin to create the glitter booty. I'm going to put about maybe 10 milliliters of my UV resin into a mixing cup, then add my glitter, mix it up really well and pour it in that well that we created on the bottom of the tumbler in the very beginning. You want to make sure that your ratio of epoxy or UV resin to glitter is just right. It's like Goldilocks, like you just have to get it like perfectly right. You don't want your glitter to be too thick, like you don't want to put too much glitter in that UV resin so that it's like chunky and like clumpy, but you also don't want to put too little because then you won't have that really pretty opaque glitter coverage that we're looking for. So I would start off by adding a little bit, mixing it up, then adding a little bit more and just going at that pace until you have a really good ratio of glitter to UV resin. I ended up having to mix a little bit more UV resin and glitter. I didn't mix enough to cover the entire full glitter booty. So I think I added maybe five more. So maybe a total of like 15 ish milliliters of the UV resin goes in this bottom well um, for one color. So I added all of that in and then I just spread it around, made sure that everything was even and completely filled in. I'm going to pop any bubbles with my kitchen lighter here. I don't like to use a torch on this kind of stuff just because it kind of freaks me out because it's like a big flame, you know? So I'm just using my little lighter to pop any bubbles and then I'm going to grab one of my acrylic logo tags. These are from Mizzy's Doodles and I'm just going to plop that right down in the middle of the glitter booty so that it's nice and flat and kind of cures inside that UV resin. Then I'm going to take my UV lamp and I'm just going to cure this probably for about five minutes. And after the bottom's cured, I'll be ready to move into my first coat of epoxy. For this first coat of epoxy, I'm using my Flint Sisters Supply Shop Fast Cure Epoxy, and I'm using about 25 milliliters on this first coat. We don't have any glitter or anything that we need to worry about being smooth, so we really just want a nice, smooth, even coat all over this big tumbler. And now we're only going to do one coat of epoxy over the paint before we move into our next design element. You don't need a lot of epoxy, again, because there's no glitter, so your cup should be pretty smooth anyway. You just wanna seal the paint in and protect it from all of the next things that we're going to do with it. After that coat of epoxy was all cured, I was ready to add my striping to my wavy lines. I'm using this white vinyl. This is HTV Ront brand, I think. This is a really strong and super flexible vinyl. So what we're going to do is cut some really thin stripes out. I think I made these like 0 0.04 inches wide, maybe even smaller. I can't really remember, but I made them really thin so that I can take them as you can see here 
and kind of just guide them around those wavy lines that I painted. What we're doing here is holding that vinyl taut and then pushing it onto the cup and smoothing it around those curves as we push it onto the cup. Hopefully that makes sense with what I'm doing on screen here, but really all you're doing is guiding the vinyl where you want it to go. Like I said, this vinyl is really flexible and super easy to work with. Any vinyl like an Oracle 651, like a permanent type vinyl, you just want something that is flexible and kind of stretchy. I wouldn't recommend doing this with a like chrome or holographic or metallic, like textured vinyl, anything like that, because those are just going to be a little bit harder to work with. Not impossible, just a little bit more difficult. So as you can see, again, just holding that taut, guiding it around the curves as I push it down onto the tumbler. After all of my lines were placed, I added another coat of epoxy to the tumbler to seal those lines in and give us a smooth surface for our next round of decals. That coat was about 20 milliliters of the Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy again. Now I'm ready to add my decals. So for the main decal on this tumbler, we're going to do a cute little quote that says, May all your Delulu come true Lulu. <laughs> I saw it on Instagram and it just like made me laugh it still makes me laugh every time I say it it just like puts me in a good mood I don't know it's my new favorite quote and I just had to put it on a tumbler and I felt like it went perfectly with this design so I will have the PNG and SVG files listed on my website if you'd like to use the same decal or put it on a shirt I don't know I'm gonna put it everywhere probably <laughs> so we're gonna do that as the main decal and then we're gonna put some cute little daisies around the wavy lines as well so for this main decal, we're going to do a vinyl offset and we're going to do a colorful water slide using the PNG file on top of it. So for the plain offset, I just use that same white vinyl that I used for striping out the wavy lines. Now the way that you would do this is bring both files into your either silhouette or Cricut, whatever design software you like to use, and then you'll resize them and use the offset from the SVG file and then just print out the PNG file and then everything should be the same size and line up just fine. If you have any bubbles or anything in your offset vinyl, you can just pop them with a craft knife or like a weeding tool and then all of those bubbles should go away. So don't worry too much about that. You can pop them and they will disappear. So now before I put the water slide on, I want to get these daisies on. These are also cut out of that same white vinyl. And this file is available for free in my Made by Manny and Mal Makers Community Facebook group. That is linked down below in the description box so you can download this file for free. So what I'm doing here is putting down the white vinyl daisies first. And then I'm going to use some double sided adhesive to glitter the centers of the flowers so that they have a nice little cute sparkly touch. So with those centers still on their backing, I'm gonna peel up the top protective little piece to reveal one side of the stickiness of the double-sided adhesive sheet or circles, I guess, at this point. And we're gonna use the same yellow glitter that we used on the bottom of the tumbler. So we're using Smiley Face from Olive's Glitter Outlet. And I'm just gonna really douse those guys in glitter. And then I'm going to just rub it in to make sure that we've got it all really stuck down well. Then I'll take these centers one by one using my pliers and I'll just hand place them in the middle of our flowers. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can use regular vinyl circles, totally up to you. I just, of course, had to add some sort of glitter element somewhere on this cup. <laughs> After we have those centers of the daisies placed, we can go in and do our water slide. So this is the colorful PNG file of the Delulu come true Lulu. 
<laughs> quote. Oh, I love it so much. So I printed this out on my clear water slide paper from Hayes Paper Company, and I sealed it three times with Rust-Oleum, two times clear gloss spray paint. Now I'm going to cut it out so that we really are only working with the main image. I don't want too much excess water slide around the actual decal part. So I'm gonna cut around that, and then I've got my tray of lukewarm water. I don't like to use cold water with water slides. One, because it makes my hands cold when I put my hands in there, and two, because I feel like the water slide slides off the backing a lot easier when your water is just a little bit warm. So I'm gonna put my water slide in my tray of water and then I'm gonna get the surface of my tumbler really wet. That's gonna make it really easy to position the water slide exactly where we want it to go. Now my water slide is gonna sit in that tray of water maybe for about two-ish minutes. You'll know that it's ready when it stops being curly. Like when you immediately put it in the water, it kind of like shrivels up or curls up. And then when it starts to release that curl, you'll know that it's ready to come off the backing. You can also test it by like pushing it off the backing and seeing if it comes off easily. But you can see how easy that was to apply. It just slid right off. So I just lined it up in the middle of that offset the same way that you would if you were using vinyl. And now if you wanted to use vinyl, like just all different colors of vinyl, you totally could instead of the water slide. It's totally up to you. Or you can just do all one color. It really doesn't matter. This quote in any way, shape, or form would make me happy. <laughs> So I'm just going to put the water slide down like you saw, wipe out any excess water with my wet paper towel, and then I'm going to take my silicone makeup brush and I'm going to really brush out that excess water from underneath there to make sure that the water slide stays in place and make sure we don't have any water bubbles or anything trapped underneath the water slide in between the vinyl and the top layer. I let the water slide dry overnight and then I added another coat of epoxy to the tumbler. This coat was about 20 milliliters as well, so same as our last coat. And again, I'm using the Flint Sisters Fast Setting Epoxy. After this coat is all cured, you can either be done or you can be like me and add some more glitter. So I'm going to take Neve from Peachy Olive Glitters, which is an ultra fine, really pretty white iridescent glitter. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that into my epoxy. So this is the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy. I've got about 30, maybe 35 milliliters of it mixed in my cup here. And I'm going to add just a light sprinkle of that glitter to give it an overall subtle, really pretty sparkle. I toyed with leaving this just like not glittered. And then I was looking at it and I was like, Ooh, I got to add more glitter. So I decided to just mix in a little bit into my epoxy and give the whole thing just a nice, subtle sparkle. Of course, you can skip this step if you want. You don't have to add glitter, but you guys know me. I like to add glitter to everything possible. So after that glitter coat is all cured, we are all done. Here is the final tumbler design. I am obsessed with how this turned out. I love it so much. I can't wait to use this cup every single day until the end of time. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know what you think of this design down below in the comments. Don't forget to check out Desert Galaxy Designs and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, love you, bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. 
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the elite fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my elite fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.